Hi, Diane here. Um, some of the Sit and Sew girls have shared some emails and photos of what they've been working on during our time sheltering in place here. Um, we're in Rhode Island. Well, we're not all in Rhode Island. I'm in Rhode Island. So I'm in Rhode Island, Massachusetts. We're local to this um, tri-state area, I guess you could say. Because um, we do have members in New Hampshire. Uh, so I just wanted to say that some of us have shared some of our uh, activities that we've been working on during this sheltering in place period. This is the beginning of April. I think today is April 6th. I don't know how much longer this is going to be. So we're just going to share to keep so we don't we won't have so much catching up to do when we do finally get back together. We'll we'll uh, sh share a little of what we've been doing lately today. Um, I don't have well I I have my video, um, but I don't have video. It's going to be photos, so uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it and kind of get an idea of what everyone's been working on. Okay, until we meet again. This is a table runner that Marilyn made for one of the neighbors. The neighbor was very sweet and offered to go to the store for Marilyn's mom whenever she needed anything during the pandemic. Her mother didn't take her up on it, and, and Marilyn's the one who goes to the store for her mom. But Marilyn thought it was so nice, she made her this table runner. And here is a view of the lake from Paula's studio. This is Sue's paper pieced block of the month that she's doing at Emma's. Also, uh, this is a quilt that she worked on for the quilt retreat that didn't happen. Then there is all of her stash that she's been sorting out very diligently. And as you can see, it looks so nice when it's all organized in clear see-through boxes. Joan's been busy making frogs, and these frogs are going out to Montana. She's also going to be making some masks for the folks in Montana. But aren't these frogs just the best? In addition to that, she had some leftover blocks from Paula. And ta-da, look what we have here. Isn't it gorgeous? Finally, she has another project that she made. It's a Treat Yourself table runner. And it's... Uh, probably for the kids to enjoy. Look at this. It's ice cream cones. How cute is that? Colleen's quilt top was designed by her granddaughter, Aubrey. What a team those two make. Okay, this is Diane. These are some of my quilts. 
This one is the, um, this was a block of the month with uh, Miss Marcus Quilts, Margaret Lewin Quilting. And we did four blocks a month from October 2019 to April 2020. So they finish at 15 inches. It's a, called the Springtime Sampler. I only hope you can see how vibrant these colors are. They might be getting, oh, let's see. Let's see if I have the shades up because it finally got some sun. Let's see if that helps. More true to color, but they're very bright. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is because it's 15, 15 and two and a half inch um, sashings. Okay, and here's the border. Find the border here. The last instruction that we will receive is the border. How to cut and place the border. And this will be the border fabric. Very nice and bright and bold. Let's see if I can spread it out so you can see it. It's got flowers and bumblebees. Okay, so that'll be the border. I just love this quilt, and it was very good for me to do because it helped me with all my points. Look at that. I'm finally getting to be a piecer. I've had difficulty. Look, I didn't lose any. I didn't lose any points. I'm so happy with this one. Okay, so that's one. Got a couple more. Okay. Now the second quilt top that I finished piecing is the Mineral Matrix quilt top. <laughs> As you can see, this border goes all the way down to the floor, basically, almost. It's called Mineral Matrix. It was a first Saturday of the month um, quilt project from Emma's Quilt Cupboard. Again, these colors look nicer than what I'm getting here. Let me see what happens when I put the sun on it. Will it wash it out or brighten it up? Well, pretty, uh, brightens it a little, I think. Because they're just vibrant batiks. <coughs> yeah, so that's what this one is. 104 by 104 inches. All pieced. Borders on this one. Ready to be quilted. But I don't have quilt backing. And I'm, I could order it online but I think I'm gonna give it a break I'm gonna wait till we can go out again I think and go see Pat at Ryko probably um, I'm not sure so that's the mineral matrix goes down low on the sides too I can use this as I think I'm gonna use it in here it kinda matches my my borders <laughs> kinda yeah same, same colors it doesn't look like it through this light though but okay so that's again mineral matrix and this one really helped me but I didn't do as well on this one because if you look whoopsie where's my finger right there Mr. Point I know we're not supposed to point out our um, problems but I'm pointing them out because I got better because <laughs> I did this one first I had a flu. I don't know if I had the flu, but I had a flu that got me down for about 13 days. I didn't go out. No, I didn't go out for like more than that. But so towards the end of my flu, when I could begin working on stuff, I started working on the quilt, the quilt top. So that's this one. And I really like this one a lot too. Okay, now let me go find the other one. Okay, I'm down in the dungeon now. <laughs> Can tell I've been working, huh? Look! All the fabric do I need from this pile? Or is it from that pile? Okay. That's where I make my masks. This is where I sell some of my stuff. This is my other brother. My other brother. That's my new serger over there. Love it. These are the fabrics that were in my um, quilt I just showed you. These are the leftovers. What I'm going to do with these is probably make another one of these. This is always so hard to photograph because my room is big, but because the, the long arm is 10 feet, this is the, and we have poles in this basement. Let's see, where am I? There's one, two, three poles. I can't go fast. I'll drive you people crazy. Okay, because this poles, this is about the only place I could actually fit the 10 foot um, quilting machine so th this is this is a quilt I finished just the other day this is the nope I finished 
I finished the, the springtime one last. Then I finished this one like Friday, I think, before the other one. This was um, a 15-day mystery quilt by Edita Sita on Laundry Basket Quilts blog and YouTube. And she took 15 days and we did this mystery quilt and this is mostly done with my stash because I had a couple of um I didn't really have good lengths of fabrics but I had a couple of layer cakes that kind of like looked like Civil War kind of stuff no actually it was called Alice's scrap bag I don't know if these were in it so it had blues and the pinks and so um, she started out with she started out with those four corners. That one, that, you know, she did the four corners. Then she did four blocks the first day. Then she did a few more the next day and a few more the next day. And she did all the outside border. And then she started on the inside. I don't know if I like those big blue things, but they're there and it kind of fits. I don't know, it reminds me of something... I don't know what. And then the middle, of course, is classic. I like the stars. I always like stars. I always like the quilt stars. Look at the stars in the corner. So, um, yeah. Can I show the... And the bottom's the, you know, the mirror image of the top. I just can't show it because I can't get close enough to it. But, um, I did, I did well on these points, too. I'm getting to be a better piece of... Well, I haven't, you know... It didn't stop me when I couldn't piece very well. I kept trying, and now I think it's going so much better. You can see my points are all showing. I'm so happy about it. So that's this one. She gave us some tips today, I think. No. I don't know if it was today on her blog, uh, different borders we can use. I don't have enough yardage for borders. I had gone to Ryko before we was couldn't go to the retail stores anymore, and I got this blue. I got this blue because I didn't have a lot of blue in my stash. And I think that was on a bolt. So I could probably go back when we can go out again and get that blue for the border. I think I might just put the blue border. Beige would look nice too. So I'm going to wait on that border. I'm going to keep it up there for now.